Oh, good morning and welcome to this morning's reflection. And so we continue today on the journey of reflecting on our own life story. How did yesterday go? Were you able to to allow that story of your life to to just play in the background like a familiar song? As we start this journey of looking at ourselves, of of spay, of paying special attention to our story, we can do this with with great, great confidence because God is generous. God is generous with us as we begin this journey, as we begin to reflect, as we begin to notice, as we begin to look at our lives through God's eyes. No matter how tentative this may be, even if we're only able to snatch a few moments of reflection here and there during the course of the day. Know this. God is at work. And God works generously with us and in us. So as you begin your day today, as you walk with God today, as you pour your first cup of tea or coffee, as you brush your teeth, say, yes, Lord, I know you are with me today. So concretely this week, Let's look at that story of our lives. And we know the story well. But this, this is not new material for us. But what is new is that we will consciously be aware that we are reviewing the story of our lives. We can be deliberate about it. We can decide when to allow our childhood to be in review, when to look at our teen years, when to look at our early adult years, and when to review our later adult years. So as you go about your day today, let these periods of your life Play in the background and into tomorrow and into the next day. But it is also about feeling. Each picture in your life has a feeling attached to it. I may look long and hard at that image of me missing the tube in one of my rare galas because I was a hopeless swimmer. What were the feelings associated with that? Allow those feelings to surface. For me, it was probably embarrassment and anger. Or perhaps I have another picture of me swimming in the sea. And the feelings there were delight, joy, Or perhaps in my early twenties, getting married. What were the feelings? Were what were they there? Anticipation, nervousness. Each of these pictures that we draw up into our lives, into our memories, as we draw from our memories, into our consciousness. Each of these pictures has a feeling associated with it. The birth of a child. The death of a loved one. The changing of a job. Let the 
these feelings that are in your life arise. Begin to feel your story. Now this is not a sentimental journey. This journey is really to illustrate to us God's faithfulness. Because in every picture in my story, there is also God's grace and God's abiding presence. God has been there even during the times when I may have failed to be aware of his presence. God is the constant presence in our lives. So in this exercise, search for that constant presence. And this, this is also about gratitude. With every memory, with every image, practice saying, thank you. Thank you. Even the painful ones. Even the times for which you were not at all grateful. No matter what, God was always there. Always there loving you. So let gratitude Touch and span the story of your life. And so today, give God a little space to just touch your life today as he helps you to walk through this amazing journey of your life, this sacred journey of your life. Relish it. May you be blessed by it. Amen.